I am Amber Soman. I am the CEO of Menting Music, and it's just in the name. <laughs> I tell everybody that. The slogan is, it's just in the name. Um, so we work uh, predominantly uh, with music NFTs. My name is Paul. Uh, I'm in the web free music scene from about more than one year. And currently I'm working with the NXM, with the DAO Records and with the Beat DAO. My name is Tabea. Um, I am co-founder of the Muti DAO. Um, we are a collective, a cultural collective and a DAO on Nier. We're currently based in Portugal. My name is Tim Exile. I'm the founder of Endless. That's Endless with three S's, which is a live collaborative music creation platform that we've been developing well I mean it's kind of been my brainchild for the best part of two decades. I think the fan wants to see the artist win. Uh, we have crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter, like Patreon that the artists have fully adopted, um, especially on the independent market. Uh, artists can actually be full-time in music and live and do well for themselves if if they understand where their money is coming from from their songs they understand how to go get it and then they could be fully sustainable and still create more art after that it if if they were taken care of financially they could create more art and do it a little bit more freely and feel alleviated you know i can't create if i'm stressed and so um I think it opens up so much more than just like revenue, super fans, accessibility. I think it actually creates an additional revenue stream that allows an artist to breathe or to eat or to pay their bills or to just keep pursuing art. In Web3, we can actually take that advantage and the artist can be an owner of the art and he doesn't need to uh you know give away his profit to, to the big record company so this is this is the beauty of the web free in my opinion there are two main reasons and one of them obviously is the financial aspect i think especially if you work with culture or art and you're not a famous artist yet and you don't have enough connections maybe it's incredibly hard to to receive funds to to create just to buy materials or just to to organize an event especially when the pandemic was still uh, more vivid let's say you know, I, I think the real opportunity of Web3 technology um, to really simplify it is, you know, in the last couple of decades, we learned um, that social graphs were really valuable. Um, these um, these networks that, that were kind of facilitated by the internet and the connectivity of the internet, um, but then uh, capitalized on um, maybe quite brutally by, <laughs> by platforms who, who would then uh, leverage these network effects, lock people into them, and then extract a huge amount of value from them. Um, and, you know, right now we're in this kind of difficult period of social media where everyone's realizing that that happened and not everybody is that cool with it. Um, but um, the thing that has been proven is that those networks are inherently very valuable. Um, but the problem was that those networks themselves in the old internet didn't remember that value. And that's where blockchain um, is, uh, you know, is a real game changer because essentially you've got um, a social graph that remembers value, that tracks value, um, that has a history. Um, and, you know, every, every single validator on the network uh, remembers everything and verifies everything and can track value as it, tra as it traverses the network. Actually, Nashville is one of the biggest music cities on the planet, and, and our state just became the second state in the U.S. to adopt the DAO as a legal entity. So things are just changing really, really, really quickly. But Mike Shinoda just jumped on to Warner's uh, consulting team for Web3. You know, we know um, Live Nation has a Web3 team uh, in-house. Uh, we know that you know, all these big players are, you know, Ryan Tedder from One Republic and Tygo just created their own metaverse band. So we're just seeing some really crazy things happening right now. On the other hand, I also think it's super important to know that 
because the whole Web3 thing is super global. You can just connect to people all over the world that before maybe you wouldn't have had the chance to like, of course, in Web2, you have Instagram and Facebook and some other platforms, but I feel especially near, like with the creative ecosystem, it's like, it's super fast, you know, like it's, you have an idea, you're looking for collaborators and a week later you can start working. So I think this is what what's really the good thing about it. The real promise of Web3 um, is that well, you know, previously we rented our relationship with the platforms in Web3, the platforms rent their relationship with, with us um, as individuals, as kind of, you know, sovereign um, creative value creators on a network. Um, and uh, yeah, again, that really thorny, tricky word of value. But I mean, let's face it, people do create value <laughs> every day, like however, you know, if you want to put, whether you want to put a price on that value or not, um, it's still valuable. Um, and that that stays at the edge of the network. A part of low fees, I think the openness. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> when I have some problems because I know I don't, I'm not a um, developer or I'm not the guy who can code. So I have, sometimes I have some question about uh, AstroDAO on some technical side, how to do something, how to do, uh, how to, I don't know, uh, for example, buy NFT via AstroDAO, using AstroDAO and some, put some votes to, to do this. However, yeah, I'm not able to do this by myself, but I can easily ask uh, on AstroDAO group someone and they will help me right away. This is what I like. It's like, mm, I feel like I'm a part of this, of the everything. When I have a question, I can ask the question and I will get a reply in the same day. So it's like, um, I like that this community is open. I like this that this community is helpful. I think the main thing for me is really the, the aspect of community, especially in the creative area. like the people are very open they really just want to create things together and um, it's more about working together rather than competition so i think that's why for us near at the moment is like it's a great option you know it has this focus it makes sense it was all about relationships it was all about people um which i think is a really honestly i think it's a good way to make decisions really look at the people first because the technology will follow the people and um i think you know Near has had probably the most successful run um, of all the top chains in the last um, six to 12 months. Um, and now knowing all the people I've met in the Near ecosystem, I totally know why, because um, everybody is, yeah, I, I've just had such a great impression of everybody I've met in, in the ecosystem. So we were, we had shopped around um to other blockchains and near was highly attractive because of its carbon neutral um footprint and that it's it's decentralized and i we love that aspect of it as well it's it's creative focused like i i don't know of another blockchain that has this much of a creative network and and it's it's thriving it's it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's doing business inside of the ecosystem. And it's just really cool to watch that. And, you know, like no surprise here, I'm a female in a predominantly male space. I've been that even in the music space. So um, as I got deeper into Nier, I really saw they weren't just talking about inclusion and diversity, like it actually really did exist. And it was actually um, at the forefront of things. And when I looked around and I saw Nier, like you could see diversity, you could hear diversity, you could feel it. And that for me was really important because, um, you know, we didn't want to just be a part of a chain. We wanted to be a part of a chain that was making a difference. Um, you know, and I think the last thing was the fact that, you know, they're, they're not, preaching like stay on our chain they're like we want you to be uh, interoperable with other chains and and we see that as being the future as well um so the fact that they were already well ahead of that um than most of the blockchains that was encouraging